Okay, I want to do a real quick video video on um, the metal um, thicknesses on the Wattscraft boat in the U.S. Because um, what you might notice when you're looking up, you know, the boats and we're doing the research is they're telling you 10 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 3 millimeter. And so I was at the steel supply today and at the, you know, looking for some flat bar and such. They didn't really have the sizes I needed. They had a, a ton of um, like flat, you know, pl just plates. And I thought, well, I'll do some measuring. I'll figure out what I think I'm going to need, you know, for my engine supports, all that stuff. You know, I'd have to order the flat bar if I wanted, you know, a specific width and all that. So anyway, this, this panel here is what I ended up grabbing. Um, you know, and it's, um, it's eighth inch. I thought, well, that should be pretty close to the transom, you know, but I'm telling the guy in there as I'm talking to him, I said, well, you know, these are the dimensions of my metal. He said, yeah, we don't work with uh, metric. I said, well, could you order it if you needed to? And he's like, no, um, it's all standard sizes. Um, so I'm like, yeah, great. You know, I mean, if, the metric dimensions typically work out to a little bit thicker, you know. So, you know, after I made that last video, I'm like, yeah, I want to check check these thicknesses just just to see. You know, I'm using my um, caliper that I use for reloading bullets, and it's pretty good. You know, and I I ground down the edges so that you know I didn't have a lip sticking up that was going to affect it and. Even if there was a little bit, this has a gap on the inside, you know, that, um, so I'm, I'm getting good flat surfaces. You know, and then I went and checked out on online, found a, a chart and essentially um, this boat is definitely um, 3 8 3 16 um, and 8 so it's it's not metric. So when you you buy the Watts Craft boat in the U.S., you're you're getting standard sizes. You can go down to your metal shop and and actually order it, you know, which was a concern up until I just checked it. Not a concern now. I'm not I'm not complaining. I mean the metric sizes are a little bit thicker, you know. Um, you're talking like half a millimeter, something to that effect, you know, because let's see. You know, the, the five millimeter is three sixteenths and let's see, where is that? Three sixteenths. Um, right here. So the three sixteenths would be the five millimeter. That's what you get overseas, I suppose. Um, you know, it's 0.1875. You know, I was getting, um, 0.189, I think, 0.188, right in there, and the you know the metric is 4.62. I was getting 4.8 something, so or 80, I think, somewhere right right in there. Um, so you know, otherwise it would be five millimeter. It'd be, I guess that's a quarter of a millimeter thicker. So really not a big deal. But I thought I'd make the video for anybody that's doing this in the U.S. You can go down and just get your metal and it all matches and it's standard sizes for the U.S. Kind of a good thing to know. Um, and that plate that I bought is the perfect thickness and it's 6061 aluminum. So it, it should be able to cover that hole and, and line up evenly. You know, the problem you run into if, you put, if I put a thicker plate in there is simply that I'm I'm lengthening my drive, I'm shortening my drive shaft, you know, because even when I made the inside edge of the, um, of it match, that's something else, you know, people could let me know. Um, if I make the inside edge of the, the metal match, but I put a thicker plate in there, say, you know, that's eighth inch, say I put three sixteenths on there, um, it stick out the back, you know, a 16th, not a big deal, but it is thicker, it's heavier, 
if I have to weld that in and make a new plate to cut a new hole, you know, when you're talking a 16th, even if it was, you know, an eighth inch thicker and the, the, the thicker side was, was pointing out the back, I mean, it's going to pull my drive line out of the coupler, you know, an eighth inch. I really don't see a problem with that. The splines are two, three inches long minimum. I, you know, I think they're a good three inches on, on the shaft where it goes into the coupler. So my thought is if, if I do cut that out and put a plate in there, um, I might just go ahead and go thicker. I, you know, I have, I have this plate here. It's the same grade and um, it's three sixteenths. So adding a sixteenth, I, I just don't see a problem with that. And you know where the pump mounts, if I brought that back down to the transom, um, this actually is the right width to sit between the bends. And you know that could be welded to the transom at the bottom. You know, and there's, there's plenty of room here to, to cover the, you know, where the adapter goes and all that stuff. You know, the only issue I might have is, you know, if I have to build a box on the side and this goes out wide enough for that trim control, you know, I might have an uneven surface there. But I don't know, I think I'm going to be off the side far enough to probably not worry about that. So anyway, a little information. Let me know what you think. Thanks.